What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Breakdown. And uh, I want to talk about uh, Texas A&M. Talk a little college football. So Texas A&M wants to leave the uh, 10-member Big 12 conference. And as I, as I read stories like this, it just makes me shake my head. Because... I'm trying to figure out, you know, who does Texas A&M think they are, first of all? I mean, you know, Texas A&M, they think that their football program is like some prized uh, possession, like their football program has really done anything lately. I mean, when's the last time Texas A&M's played in a BCS bowl game? I mean, I can't remember. Uh, How many conference championships do they have? In the Big 12, uh, was it one? Um, You know, every now and then Texas A&M has a good season. And, you know, a really good season to them is, you know, a three or four loss season where they may pull off an upset or something like that against maybe Oklahoma or Texas or something like that. But that's really the best it gets for Texas A&M. I mean, they've never had a one loss or two loss season, not, not that I can remember. In the Big 12, like I said, every now and then they have, you know, a three or four loss season. And then, you know, they, they may pull off an upset against Oklahoma or, or Texas. But then after that, they just they go back to being average again, you know, seven and five or six and six and have records like that. You know, they're just not that consistent. And yet their fans think that they are just the prize possession football program. And they want to jump to the SEC because they're jealous of uh, Texas. You know, uh, does everybody else like the Longhorn Network? Well, if you're not a Texas fan, you probably don't like it. But, you know, so what? Everybody else has got to put up with it. You know, if you want to deal with Texas, beat them on the football field. I mean, you guys, Texas A&M beat them last year. So go do it again and do it again and do it again and do it again. And, uh... Like I said, I it just, I just shake my head because, you know, Texas A&M, you know, they're making a mistake. You go to the SEC, and in about 10 years, about 10 years from now, you'll be begging to come back. If there even is a Big 12. But, you, but you'll be begging that you'll be wishing that you never went. Texas A&M, you go to the SEC conference, you will be bottom feeders. You will be the doormat of the conference. You will, be, you will be getting whipped by Arkansas, Alabama, Florida, LSU, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina. I mean, the list goes on and on. You're making a mistake. Don't be like Nebraska. Nebraska left because they felt like the referees were cheating them in games. They felt like when they played Texas, the referees would cheat them. Well, Nebraska, and I guarantee you in about... Six or seven years, Nebraska's going to be wishing they hadn't left because they're going to be getting whipped up there in the Big Ten Conference with those big old linebackers and those big old linebackers who are are run-stopping linebackers and those big old offensive lines and those big defensive lines. Nebraska doesn't even have a passing game. Nebraska's never had a, a great passing game, and they've always relied on the run. And they've been able to get away with it in the Big 12. But... And now they're trying to rely on the run in the, in, in the Big Ten Conference where those defenses are built to stop the run. Nebraska is going to be getting whipped up there in the Big Ten. I guarantee it. It's going to start this year. Unless Taylor Martinez can pass the ball, Nebraska is going to be getting whipped. I'm just sorry. You know, Colorado might have a chance out there in the Pac-12. You know, it just depends. You know, the Pac-12 is kind of a revolving door. But, uh... You know, Colorado's probably not, you know, Colorado's just not that good right now, no matter what conference they go to. But Texas A&M, don't be like Nebraska. I mean, sit back and sit back and wait a little bit is what I have to say, because sit back and see what Nebraska does this year, because I guarantee you they're going to be getting whipped up there in the Big Ten. I mean, like I said, Taylor Martinez probably not can't pass the ball and he's going to be getting lit up by those big old, big old linebackers that that are just big and those big linebackers that are built to stop the run. 
you know, like those big linebackers that Penn State always has or Michigan and Ohio State and, and Wisconsin's going to be really good now too, Michigan State. And so Nebraska, Nebraska don't have a chance up there in that conference. And I, they're going to be getting beat for the next five years up there in that conference. I mean, they're going to be worse up there than they were in the Big 12. And in the Big 12, they were only good because they played in the Big 12 North. You look at all their losses in the Big 12, they came to Big 12 South teams, where Big 12 South teams were a little bit more physical. And every team in the Big 10 is physical. So Texas A&M, please, I mean, don't don't go up there to the SEC because you're you will get whooped worse in the SEC than than um than than Nebraska's gonna be getting beat in the Big Ten. And sure, sure you might get a you know a bigger share of the money in, in the SEC, but you know what, what's money when you're losing on the football field? You know, eventually, I mean, you know, like I said, what's money when you're losing? You know, I mean, you, you can fill your pockets all day, but you ain't going to be getting recruits. It's going to hurt you recruiting-wise. Don't think you're going to go to the SEC and start pulling recruits from Alabama and LSU and schools like that because you're not. You're not. You're just jealous of the Texas Longhorns. You know, am I a fan of Texas? No. I'll, you know, I'm not a Texas fan, but, I, you know, that's just the way it is. You're just jealous of the Texas Longhorns. And like I said, the only way you deal with them is you, you know, you recruit. And, you know, the thing is that, you know, although Texas has the Longhorn Network, they're only, they're still only going to pull Texas kids anyway. And at the end of the day, you know, there's so many great recruits out there that Texas can only pull so many recruits. They can only pull so many. And then the rest of them have got to go elsewhere. And there's so many, there's so many there's so much talent out there. Texas, even with the Longhorn Network, Texas cannot pull all of the recruits. Will the Longhorn Network maybe give them an advantage in recruiting? Yeah, they might. But at the end of the day, you know, if you only have so many scholarships to give, you only have so many scholarships to give. And I'm sorry, there's more than, you know, the average recruiting class is about 20 to 25 players with every team. But I'm sorry, but, you know, there's more than 20 to 25 good players out there. And like I said, not all of them come from Texas. Some of them do, but Texas is only going to go. Texas is still only going to re recruit Texas kids. So you still got Florida, California, Ohio, and 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 then you know they they can't get every kid in Texas. So I mean Texas A and M. I mean, like I said, why are you so jealous of Texas? I mean, first of all, you haven't done what Texas has done in the past ten years. You know, Texas has at least won a couple of you know, uh, you know, uh, conference championships. Texas has won some BCS bowl games. Texas has been to two national championships, and they've won a national championship. You know, the only thing you have to be jealous about is yourself because you haven't done it, and and you guys act like your program is up. You guys act like your program is on the same level as Texas or Oklahoma or Florida or USC and Ohio State and teams like that, and Alabama. You guys are kidding yourselves. But like I said, you go right ahead and go to the SEC because I'll be sitting right back here laughing when you guys become the bottom feeders of the conference and you're just getting whipped every day. I mean, look at your record last year versus SEC teams. You got beat by Arkansas. You got beat by LSU. And you'll get beat by Arkansas again this year. So, I mean, do what you want to do. But like I said, look, look, take a look at Nebraska first and see what they do up there in the Big Ten because I don't really don't think they're going to do anything. And they're bringing, and they're about five years. They're going to be wishing, hey, you know, I, you know, we wish we could come back. But by then it's going to be too late because there's, you know, Taylor Martinez is going to be getting murdered by Big Ten linebackers. So Texas A&M, think about what you're doing, and uh, you know, to the fans of Texas A&M. Uh, get over yourself because your football program is really not that. Um, I mean, you, you know, you guys have a you guys have a good football program, but you guys are not on the elite level, so don't act like it. You know. So uh, I'm out of here.